Well, what's really going on here is there's a leash. This is actually a thought leash. And you know, you hear stuff being talked being about, you know, personal robotics. I think dogs are pretty personal, and this is a leash for a small dog. Don't use a big dog leash, very important. Um, and the way this works is it's completely self-contained. So I just turn it on. I point it in the direction that I want to watch it. Demo effect, right? And it flies. And keep in mind, I wouldn't be able to fly it, right, if there wasn't a, a, a leash on it right now. So it, of course, it's very safe. And actually, what you're seeing now behind me, on the yes, ah, is 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 downlink from this thing, so it's a live video. And then, and you can see it's kind of a flying steady cam, right? And it's pretty neat because what we what we actually did is we we took a complex system and we kind of started removing components and see how, how do things still work. And we discovered that in this case, if you add a tether as a mechanical constraint and remodel the dynamics of the system, you get something pretty cool. You can, the vehicle right now is maintaining the angle relative to me just based on onboard sensors on alone. There's no radio, there's no machine vision, there's no GPS, obviously. And that's it, because it's just so simple, it becomes like a flying pet, right? And also, as soon as you have the tether, what's kind of cool to me, I didn't come up with this, people think of it as a pet. So, if I wanted to go further, I just extend the tether, and then I can actually use the inertia to pull it back in. Uh, it's just something I like, I like to do. So we call this the photo kite, and if you want to learn more, just talk to me or visit our website, contact us. Thank you very much.